Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. When's it gonna stop? I don't know. Hopefully, never, man. What's up? What's happening? What's cracking? Where's all my bloods, my cribs, my sacramaniacs? Where's everybody at, man? What's good? 30,000. I, uh, I like to wait a little bit to make sure that nobody unsubscribes and fucks me over. But, uh, don't trip. I ain't really tripping. Some leave, some come back. It don't matter. It's all good. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash it right now. Where we at? Where we at? Jacksonville, Rochester, Louisville, Columbia, Hartford, Camille, the Taco Turd, Escubio. What's up? What's happening? 29 Warriors watching. Smash that like button. You got brother Matt. What's crack a lacking? He says. <laughs> Trying to shoot the fucking kite over to the IG, but uh, my shit's acting up. Pisses me off. There we go. Angel Alejandra. The hat. Hey. I just went to get this hat right now. And. A little bit of cold ones, right? I got a, a four pack, a little four pack of cold ones. Celebration. 43 Warriors watching. 30K. Man, that 30K looks good right there on the bottom. The homie Carlos right there. American Top Gunner, shout out to you, bro. I did a um, I did, I wore a tuxedo on one of the first um. On one of the first live celebrations, Mister KC five six two, Lulu West 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 up West Coast. Blue collar, thank you. Orale, what's up? Grape juice. Nah, this is a uh, root beer. Root beer. Thought I'd celebrate with you guys. And uh, hold on, I'm shooting the wheela over to the IG, inviting more people over here. It's always good when we get a bigger crowd going, you know, rowdy ass crowd. Tap in, tap in with your roll call. Um. Ask your questions. We're just going to kick it, man. Johnny Carmelo, 30K burpees for all the Warriors in the back. There's no more back, bro. There's no more back. That's crazy. There's no more back. No music available. Um, There's no more back. They did away with it. Jay Nino, that is awesome. Love the headgear, my guy. Oh, yeah, you know what? I went down to Party City, got the numbers. They only had a black three. It's all good. It's trying to get them all the same. Uh, got this little hat. It says happy birthday on the backside, but I've turned it around. Esquiel, born twice. Break it on. No shots of vanilla ice cream in it. That'd be pretty good for a vanilla float. I should have probably got the whipped cream. What up, Joe Spring? I see you right there. I'm not crazy. I'm not loco. X-rated 559. QOHB, congrats on the 30K, G. It's our accomplishment, man. It's it's us. It's us. I could have never done I could have never done this without you guys there. Shot the wheel out. DCT 915. Warriors, don't get that thumbs up. Don't forget that thumbs up. What's up, uh, Mexicali tapping in. Fernando L, shout out to you. You've been riding since day one, my boy. Always representing Mexicali. I know exactly where that's at. I made many trips to the big house, La Casona. 
the last three homies loud and proud what up harbor area that's what's up melissa kicking it in phoenix i got like five or six army brothers that live in phoenix i need to be making a trip out there um so there's 79 warriors oh slide through i was giving a shout out this morning and i wanted to say slide through but all i could think about was your little emoji picture bro man what's up hey look you know i'm growing you know i'm growing right i'm growing in every direction this way that way every other which way these youngsters these young youngsters convinced me to get on the twitch right the twitch actually what the hell is the twitch well the twitch is where like people go and play video games and uh lo and behold i didn't even know i could hook up my xbox this is my xbox controller I didn't know I could hook it up. If you ain't blue, you ain't true. Crip. I didn't know I could hook up the Xbox to this freaking same monitor. Man, I'll tell you what, man. I'm used to the old 8-bit Nintendo where you used to either put it on channel 3 or channel 4. And we have come a long way, let me tell you. So, that's my Twitch. If you're a youngster, well, fuck, maybe if you're even old and more up to date than I am, go over to that Twitch, follow and it just got started today it just got started today you guys want to see how fast i move look you guys can pay attention if you ever wanted to start something up go over and watch what i just started doing with that twitch nobody taught me how to do any of this stuff initially something is hard to learn or it takes help and shout out to that homie What's his name man i'm gonna give you a shout out right now i know you don't want me to put your name out there but uh shout out to you george little youngster you look like a youngster or i hope i'm probably thinking he's a youngster he knows how to do twitch um, he, he, he schooled me. He's like, Hey man, uh, he even taught me how to fix this fucking chair right here. You know, for the last year, my fucking ass has been sitting forward like a fucking idiot hunched back in Notre Dame. And he's like, Hey bro, on the bottom, there's a little knob twisted in either direction. And I did. Oh, look at this shit, man. Fuck. I got a lumbar curve now. Motherfucking looking like scoliosis question mark. sound effects man i need to give myself a round of applause from time to time self-motivation is better than no motivation fake motivation is better than no motivation what's happening uh, george in here hey george you in here there you are there you are shout out to george magana the dude's right there he's 29 so look man there you are i'm not a liar the homie George said, like, hey, dude, you ever think about doing a Twitch? And I'm like, well, you're like the third or fourth youngster to tell me to do a Twitch, man. And I've been thinking about doing it, and I suck at Call of Duty on the big TV downstairs. I said, I've been wanting to buy a little tiny TV so I can kick these motherfuckers' asses. He's like, nah, man. I said, is it possible I could hook it up to my computer screen? He's like, yeah. Old man, there's a thing called HDMI cable. I'm like, all right, all right, HDMI. Boop. Hey. Motherfucker, fix my chair for me. Shout out to the homie. Uh, as a cop, you should know how to operate that chair. <sighs> this is like a gamer chair, though, man. I'm used to those first watch chairs where the big fat COs broke it so much that it's laying down and it's so comfortable. Man, it's so comfortable and fluffy. You just plop yourself down on first watch and go to sleep till eight hours later, right? Hope to God no way may fucking hung himself or overdose. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Or Jaime Osuna chopped off his cellmate's head. Twitch allows artistic nudity. Don't get any ideas. Hey, George, why don't you tell me about the artistic nudity, my boy? I told y'all I was going to start selling feet pics over there, man. Uh, He's officially a needle mover. Get that money, bro. So proud of you. No more slave shifts. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been out doing this shit for one year and five months. It's fun. I get to hang out with you guys. I'm drinking root beer. I got a silly little hat on me. We're just celebrating wins. And you know what the whole thing about it is, man, to keep it real, and that is I get to help people. I get to help people daily. This one of all of my phones ring constantly, and I have to have numerous phones because there's just numerous phone calls, right? Um, and it's just constantly helping people. 
Uh, I couldn't, and then and then I get blessed. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know. The man above, Big G, he blesses me in ways I could never. I don't know. I couldn't have predicted this one. The fuck is HB drinking? Oh, it's a uh, root beer, my boy. Don't trip. Thank you, MC Crypto. I said it was different. Glad you jo- joined up. Well, I want to get through to you youngsters, man, on the, on the, um, not like P. Diddy, that fool. Damn, you be watching those clips? P. Diddy was done to some weird shit, man. Holy, what the? Cat Williams. Cat Williams is the best. He called it. The hell? Motherfuckers get money, they lose their fucking minds. Unbelievable. Never heard of anything like that. Um. <laughs> Jaime Osuna is a jackass. You got to unscrew that right arm so you don't accidentally spray anybody. I thank God I never had a negligent discharge or an accidental spray on the OC. 86 Warriors in here. Do not stay quiet, man. Let's back some fe- bounce some feedback off of each other. Let me know if you've ever heard of Twitch. Let me know if... Uh, you guys go over there, man. You guys are going to see me play video games and yell at the screen. I might yell a couple of profanities, shit that will get me banned in a few countries. Um, I have anger issues, man, and you'll be able to see it on the Call of Duty when these little fucks are killing me. What up, 420 All Day and Visa? I'll be seeing you soon, bro. April. What up? What's happening? EOP Whisper. What up, man? OG Rocha in the pad. Don't trip. I'm not purposely missing you guys. I'm just going, 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 going. I see, I see, I see. Break of dawn. I see good vibe tribes. Root beer is bomb. Yup. Mikey, I suck at COD too. My kids run things around me. I used to be good at it, man. I'm older now, man. What's up, hot shooter? Fucking helicopter flying right over my house, man. It makes me wonder, is this it? I'll fucking don this gas mask right now. Where'd my gas mask go? Somebody was in my room, man. Fucking gas mask fell on the ground. I'll don this fucking gas mask right now. We'll fucking start this party right now, man. This is today the fucking day. <laughs> fucking helicopters flying circles around my fucking house. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my house is shaking. You know, things like that excite me, right? Like, who are we going to do it? Is this it, right? Is this a moment of truth, man? You guys think I'm a bitch. I ain't a bitch, right? I'll tell you that right now, man. You guys see the smirk on my face. Like, este ato se le vale verga la vida. Este way, man. This fool's fucking nuts. Yup. Why? Because I'm not bothering nobody. So there should be no helicopters trying to take me down right now, man. Leave me alone. Is, G- is Jeff peeking out the window? Yeah, and that's the thing, man, that Jeff is going to send his goons, man. I would love it if Jeff's spineless ass came and got me himself. Put the handcuffs on me yourself, Jeff. Meet me out back, not out front. I don't want the neighbors to see. What up, EOP Whisper? Fruity Pebbles and Chanate Fun. Thank you for that, man. <laughs> Got to turn the page. Got to turn the page. EOP Whisper. You know, holy shit, Vladimir Taylor. Lieutenant, if you don't get at least three community strikes from your gaming, I will be disappointed. Congrats on the MFing 30K. Suit up the effing team. Facts, bro. And I'll tell you what, Vladimir Taylor, I don't even know what a community strike is, but I'm going to try my hardest, bro. (laughs) I realize that everything the government has been pushing upon us has been ass backwards and fucking false. (laughs) And an attempt to quiet us, man. Where's Brother Matt at? Brother Matt made some We the People hats. Where's Brother Matt? Brother Matt in here? He'll show up, man. I'm over never late. What's up, Carmine the Pitbull? <sighs> McCumber. American. T- what up, Brenda? I think I gave you a shout out this morning. Brenda was just popping off at the names. He be drinking a root beer. Yup. What up, 1967 kid? Matt, 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 brother Matt. Um. Uh, tell, I was telling him about the the hats you made. We the people hats, bro. We're bringing it back.
Look at Night Nurse. Is this where all the prison guard dropouts and whistleblowers hang out? Let me zoom in on your picture, you fucking piece of shit, faggot motherfucker. Yeah, you look like a bitch. And I won't even block you. I'll let you hear what I have to say, you fucking coward ass motherfucker. What up, MP? You know why? You know why? I'm not even gonna say it, man, motherfucker. Faggot ass fuck. Let me know if that'll give me a community strike over there on the uh, 102 Warriors in here. Smash that subscribe button, like button. Um, <sighs> Look at that right there. Hey, LT, we had two shootings in our neighborhood in the last 24 hours. Was that... um? Low thrip or law thrip or over there by somebody sent me something, man. Thank you, MP. I see you right there. Angel, thank you for speaking the truth. Thank you, bro. Was it worth it? Yes. Do I recommend it? It depends, man. If you're ready for it. Hey, look it. Hector, do you recommend I do what you did? I don't know. That's like going in the ring with Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? I don't mean to prove my own fucking horn, but I know what I was going up against. Um, if you feel like you're physically fit, morally straight, and ethically right to do so, then handle your fucking business. But I'm never going to set you up for failure. <laughs> don't do it. If you, can't, if you ain't capable of doing it, don't do it. You are? Do it. Fuck yeah, I got your back. We all got your back. <laughs> now, Jeff. Jeff is no Mike Tyson. I'm talking about the whole machine. The machine. The machine's a motherfucker. Jeff's just a little fucking spoke. Bitch ass spoke, too. Skinny ass little fucking spoke. I have the We The People flag at my house. Damn, homie, where you live? Brian, Texas, Montana. You live in those good states, huh? Some states are different than others, man. Hey, Mikey, there is always one, man. Hey, Fio. Fio, Hector, watching The Sopranos. Let me ask you guys, for all of those that have watched The Sopranos, and one time I made it a point to sit and watch the whole entire thing, what the hell was the ending about? How did it end? The screen just went black. Did they kill that dude? What the hell happened, man? What a waste. It was a good show. What up, Legend Garcia? Lathrop. I probably don't know how to pronounce these names, man. I got kind of like a bice when it comes to pronunciation. But Lathrop, Lathrop, that place. Michigan Wolverines, man. What's up? What's happening? I was texting Michigan Wolverines earlier, man. I'm telling you, this is just this. I think these lives, I think these YouTube engagements are probably, I mean, they're huge. They're huge. But there's way more that goes on behind the scenes. Hey, what up, homie hangout? What up, Josh? Hey, he would know. We, I'm telling you, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Michigan Wolverines. So what does it mean, man? What does 30,000 subscribers in one year mean? Somebody said, hey, you have three times more of the subscribers than the CDCR website. What does that tell you? Well, people don't like fake fucking news, man. It's not that hard. If CDCR literally woke up tomorrow morning and said, you know what, we've been lying all along. We've, we've truly been fucking up. Uh, uh, fucking, the, the fucking department's a disaster, but uh, we're, we're going to try our best to fix it. We just wanted you to know. You know how much fucking respect they would gain? You know, instant, instant respect. Because it's going to catch people off guard like, oh, fuck. Yeah, they might be thinking like, what are they up to? Well, we're never acted like that, right? Like a husband is going to beat your fucking ass when you fucking don't wash the dishes. <laughs> fuck, I lost a fucking viewer. It's probably a high now that fucking I triggered with that fucking comment. Son of a bitch, man. No disrespect. I didn't mean to do that shit. Come back. Come back, girl. It's all good. 
<laughs> Thoughts on P. Diddy? That fool's a weirdo. Like, and I never even. The only thing I remember about P. Diddy is when the homie Suge Knight came out. It was like the world star hip hop fucking show. And he said, if you're tired of your producer dancing all up in your videos, singing all up in your videos, come to death row. And I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> as far as P. Diddy, what the hell? Nah, man. The fuck is he into? What up, L.A. Gangle? What is he into? What up, Crescent? Esquiel. <laughs> what up, Daniel? I'm just here. Hold on, hold on. I fucking can't keep up, man. Keep it going. I'll keep up. I'll drink more root beer. Senor Lieutenant, congrats on the 30K. Keep doing that. You're... Keep doing you and F the ones who want to hate. That's a little in the house. Can you tell the wife and Renee and my mijo junior daddy loves them as always? Shout out to Marcos from South Bay, San Diego. Shout out to the wife and to the kids, man. You have a good man in your life. HB, is Helly Berry still flying around your house? That was weird. That was weird. I, I did the live. I'm probably go back and watch this. And the house started shaking. The helicopter was literally flying, like literally fell like outside my window. This is fucking, let me throw you guys off so you don't know which way you're going to come from. My window over here, this window. <laughs> no, that window, right? I think ahead, like, hey, these fools are watching me. They're going to want to know how to come into my house. It don't matter, man. You ever see the movie Home Alone? <sighs> I got a Roomba, a Roomba, a Zumba, a Roomba. Yeah, that motherfucker is just going to go off. <laughs> this isn't that War Nerd channel. This is <laughs> What up, Scorpio Rising? What up? What up, Robert? Where's the party? Oh, for sure I'm going to do a party. I've been running my mouth. I said I was going to do it for the 20K, for the 25K. Uh, enough bullshitting, right? This, I, I'm fully engaged in this shit now. My manager, when my manager's sleeping, man, he's fucking up. Where you at? Um, We got to do something. And it's going to be in San Diego for sure. Daily, I do 500 push-up with 30 rounds, 30 pounds in my rucksack. Damn. That's a lot. What's for dinner? What did I have? A protein bar. I should celebrate. I had a fucking protein bar. I get the protein bars from Costco. Nothing fancy. Mob Entertainment Group. What up, man? You have more subs than California has prisoners these days. Mob Entertainment Group, I uh, I networked with you like when I first came on scene, man. And we're still riding together over here. Thank you, Goon Squad. Thank you, David K619. 619 Nina. Do you get a cake for the 30 Gs? You see this thing right here? I had that sign made on Etsy. I made it. I made it. Custom eyes. And my wife's like, why would you make that shit? Like, you're, that, you can't make your own things. And I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. I give myself pats on the back all the fucking time. What up, Coomer Shadow? What up, Mark? Come on, LT. The people want an Alcatraz tour by HB. Is Alcatraz still running tours? I've been there like three times. Thank you, George. Congrats on the 30K time to double it. Facts. And look at right here because you reminded me. Go hit that Twitch. If you haven't started up an account, go. If you want to watch me play Call of Duty and yell and scream and flip out. George, man. I like your little icon right there, too, George. I don't remember if I played the sound effects or not, but this is for George. (laughs) 
What up, Bubbles? Besides these YouTuber content folks, if you can interview an ex-convict, who would that be? Bro, have you not been watching the channel? I've been done being interviewing so many. Go over to that Warnerd YouTube channel. I interviewed another one over there. It's kind of all I do these days, man. Interview whoever wants to share their story. Come on down. Thank you, El Chapo. Hard work doesn't go unrewarded. It does in the California Department of Corrections, man. You you know what you know what you know what you get if you're a hard worker in CDCR. More hard work. You get other people's workload, right? Right, Davies. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Hector, you have Steam? I do not have Steam. I barely even made a Twitch today. I got Call of Duty on my mobile iPad. Oh, call, I I don't I don't have an iPad. I play Call of Duty with dubs. I didn't even know the dude played Call of Duty. That's cool. Orange County in the house. Shout out to Orange County. So, I done gave so many uh welcome to everybody. What do you guys want to talk about, man? 30k. You guys can do whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, Fresno right there. I see you. Mindless reactions. What's my Activision ID? I want to say counter clash. Counter clash. And don't say it needs to be numbers because it doesn't. Counter clash. C-O-U-N-T-E-R-C-L-A-S. <clears throat> counter clash. No numbers. Yeah, Dow. Yeah, Dow Serrero. I I play games on computer Steam program. Yeah, but I think you can play X. I think you can play Call of Duty on uh on Steam. Nineteen sixty seven kid. Drop that drink, sir. Oh, it's a it's a root beer. Man, I'm gonna give you guys a, a panic attack. It's a root beer. It's a root beer. Don't trip. I went out went to the store. Um, this fucking lighting is fucking horrible in this goddamn room. I gotta fix my fucking lighting, man. Talk about the sleepers in your social media platform. Yeah, they're there, man. They're there. Let me tell you guys something. I'm talking about sleepers. You guys ready? Let's talk about sleepers. Um, how was Texas? Did you get some Whataburger? Hey, man, I didn't even I didn't even want to talk shit, right? So here's the deal. There's a fucking guy, man. This dude was an army ranger. This fucking guy. Am I talking shit? I don't know. I'm just gonna say it how I say it. This fucking guy, he's pretty big in the uh, military community. But you got to realize, all these black coffee rifle guys, they're the thing of a past. You heard it here first, right? There's a new era. Everybody knows all the, what are they called? John Kennedy's. John Kennedy? No, Tim Kennedy's. Motherfucker, there's a new era that has come upon us, motherfuckers. Out with the old and in with the new. Anyhow, I don't mean to be disrespectful. But I text a homie, hey. I'm about to get on the plane. What's a good time to meet up tomorrow morning? I'll fucking go to Dallas. And he, he called me. He's like, hey, bro, I'm in Vegas right now. <sighs> My wife was dropping me off at the airport. And I was like, hey, turn around. Like, he's like, hey, we can postpone it. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, hey, well, hold on, dude. Let me fucking hang up real quick. Let me see if I could cancel my flight that's leaving in fucking one hour or get my refund. Anyways, I was able to do it. It is what it is. Um, apparently, I'm a nobody on his radar. Either that or he was busy. I don't know. I don't do that. Um, it is what it is. Learning experience is my first time happening in one year and five months. Hey. Um, it happens, you know. Thank you, Dal Serrero. But, uh, 
yeah, that's why I didn't end up going. What up, Michael? What up, Roy? God damn, I don't fucking... What up, what up, Dallas Ferrero? BRCC is whack. Yup. What's up? What up, Gabriella? Thank you. Shit happens. Yeah, I ain't even fucking tripping. His loss. Yeah, I'm not even tripping. Like, I mean, it is what it is, right? Just keep pushing. And things happen for a reason. Bestie doing big things. Love the 30K hat. Positive vibes. Spread the love. Thank you, Bestie. Kathy right there. This fucking feels good that I can relax in my chair. I'm not leaning forward. I'm so used to leaning forward. I'm going to lean back right now. Kick back. Woo. Snuggle up in this motherfucker. Shout out to you, Roy, in Central Cali. Talk about no more death row. Yeah, that's the thing, man. No more death row. They're shutting it down. Shooting those dudes to the main line, which they already had been. I'm not even tripping on that. Like, whatever. Um, You know, let me tell you something. Right here, you're going to hear it from me first. The problem that they're releasing death row inmates to the main line. The problem that they released heavy hitters to the main line. The problem that they mix GPs in S and Y. That is not the problem. The problem is, is that they have brainwashed and scared the brand new correctional officers into not performing their duties by using force. Right? It's a prison. Force needs to be used regardless when, the, when it meets the criteria. That's the problem. Let's say you had 100 hectares and they let out the, uh, and I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just saying type, in, type of individual that know how to walk in a prison, maneuver, walk, talk, and chew bubblegum. And they let out all the death row inmates on that yard. Oh, you give me, you give me, a, you give me your blessings. You give me a green light. We're gonna, everything's gonna be just fucking fine on that yard. <laughs> there's gonna be a couple of examples. More than likely, I'm being realistic. Yeah, of course, there's gonna be examples. That a motherfucker always has to try, right? A motherfucker always has to test. I'm a motherfucking I had an asshole on here. Get on the fucking. Uh, I had an asshole on here. Get on the fucking comments earlier. You don't think there's assholes in real life? You run into assholes every day. On fucking Vons, on the highway. And in my world, assholes get dealt with. Period. This is our world, right? Because you guys think like me. I got to step my game up. Remember when you started, told you early on you have an important and unique voice. Glad you're using it. Yeah, homie, hang on. It's all consistent, um, consistent message. The consistent message is be a good person, period. Be a good person. I just happen to be an expertise in the, in the area of California Department of Corrections where I've done seen the worst of the worst. <laughs> And I'm not even talking about the inmates. That's the kicker. That's the catch. That's when Hector says he had a really bad time in the California Department of Corrections. I'm not talking about the inmates. That was easy. That was fucking easy. Holy shit. What a, what a world we're living in. So if I unsubscribe, you'll go back to 29999. Nope, because I'm actually almost to 30.1. You don't know how it works. On this end, it looks different. On this end, you see the actual number. Buenas noches, senor. All right, Marcos, you have a good night, man.
assholes everywhere bestie keep doing you spread the knowledge to i guess this is what my message for today man stand up to the assholes had a partner completed norway program this is my message for today it's 2024 the world went crazy from the year 20 or 2010 11 to now there's a shift we're bringing it back okay the next time you see something obnoxious, irate, people taking advantage of other people, especially in their employment, especially in their employment. You let them know who's boss, okay, who's really the boss. You let them know that their title and rank don't mean shit. They're a horrible person. You're going to let Hector Bravo know all their details. Hey, there's letters up in this motherfucker. G-I-L, Gil. Or Lig. I don't know. Um, Just be a good person. I hate bullies. That's what it is. So I had a friend reach out to me, right? And he said, hey, man, just to let you know, I was at work the other day, and you had people from the crisis response team. This is Donovan. Range staff, alarm response instructors, and they said, hey, stop commenting on Hector Bravo's post. Be careful what you post. They're going to try to get people in trouble. Talking about the department. And I'm like, bro, doesn't that remind you of Nazi Germany, the Gestapo? Right? Doesn't that remind you of the Gestapo? I don't know what fucking world these fucking idiots uh, thought that they had so much power that they could just run it has to be George Soros and his ridiculousness. You fucking motherfuckers lost their goddamn mind. Yeah, where did uh, I like Esquiel? He wrote "Bye, David." Because I was thinking the same thing. I just didn't say it. <laughs> again, again, David. No disrespect, but I'm not looking for followers, right? I'm not looking for followers. What I want is motherfucking soldiers at the front, fucking line, right? At the front. I'm tired, right? I'm tired. I'm showing you guys how to do this. Just stand up to all these fucking assholes. Uh, fuck them. What's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing's going to happen. Even if something happens, it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Even if the worst happens, it's going to be worth it. Fucking, I don't want numbers, man. I want soldiers. <laughs> Sounds like the NF. Hey, don't watch these channels. Homie Hangout. I'm telling you, there's a lot of similarities. I'm telling you, it's all upper management in whatever organizations, right? It's all the same it's all the same, and I don't mean to be disrespecting them because I could be get got. But you hear what I'm saying? It's, it's poor leadership at times in certain areas. And poor leadership is poor leadership, period. Poor leadership in the military. Poor leadership in gangs. Poor leadership in, in law enforcement. Poor leadership is poor leadership. You could have a fucking asshole of a boss that works at office depot or jack in a box and he mistreats his employees and fucking thinks he's a somebody he's gonna ruin that fucking establishment motherfuckers are not gonna want to work for him dudes are gonna show people are gonna show up late to work give their half ass Ooh, i want some jack in a box give their half ass fucking uh they're not gonna put it all out there speak up freedom of speech says you use your voice facts what up bg the worst thing that happens is retaliation. Yeah, the helicopter almost came into my house right now. Well, I'm going to tell you, they're going to come in, but they ain't going to come out. <laughs> the hell did you just say? Ah! It's, like it's like a Venus flytrap up in this motherfucker. Motherfucker. Just be ready, man, motherfuckers. I remember some people tried to scare me about voicing my opinion online so I didn't get canceled. Haha, <laughs> I'm here for a good time not to be the 
the knee, bend the knee for the keyboard warriors. I'm going to help you guys out. Let's say you want to start a business. Well, yeah, you can't be flying off the handle and saying like disrespectful shit, but uh, just be yourself, right? Be yourself in anything you do, man. Be yourself. Let's say, oh my God, this do I really got to say this? You got you guys are way more advanced, right? Let's say you promote to sergeant in the California Department of Corrections, motherfucker. Do not change up. Do not pretend you're somebody else. Do not change your voice like, hey guys, listen to me. I'm the sergeant now. <laughs> Fucking bitch. You're the same bitch you were yesterday. Bitch, get out of here. Fuck. Close the door. Close the door. You're letting the hot air in. You're letting the flies in, motherfucker. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> motherfucker. Let's say you're in a prison gang, right? All of a sudden, motherfucker gets a little bit of authority. Becomes a shot caller. Motherfucker flexing his power, getting people hit for no reason. <laughs> hey, bitch. You know what karma is? Karma is, at the end of the day, you're going to get fucking stabbed, too. I've seen it a million fucking times, man. I've seen it a million fucking times, right? (laughs) It's don't change up. Just be cool. Be cool. Nobody's home, right? (laughs) What up? What up, Thin Gray Line? Motherfuckers, it's so hard, Harbor. That's a fact. It's so, I've seen so much. Oh, Rags. What up, Rags? Nice hat. Rags up in here. Rags is the intricate part of this channel. <laughs> and I bet they want. <laughs> we got your back, LT. What up, Leo? In my job, they get a walkie-talkie, and they even change the way they walk. The hunchback leaves. Facts. Facts. Hey, can you relate with the P. Diddy situation? Can I relate with it? Nah, man, I'm not weird. Like, the dude is doing some bulk something. The motherfucker got some attention of some people. In the federal, <laughs> you never want the feds raiding right your pad, man. That's that's fucking gacho. <laughs> EOP whisper wrote, I hate when motherfuckers would promote and change. Motherfucker, you were sleeping in the office on second watch last week, asshole. <laughs> hey, Hokez, Hokez, Joe Quiz. Nah, man, I ain't gonna, tr- I don't want to scare you guys off. You motherfuckers are going to, not you guys, some fucking assholes are going to screenshot this part right here and say Hector fell off the wagon, that prison guard drinking again, he kicked the dog. Motherfuckers, are, that's how the internet works, man. Nah, it's root beer. I don't drink. I don't drink. What up, sports cards, report cards? could use a coffee right now i fucking have three fucking root beers in you guys want to know why i'm an alcoholic and have an addictive behavior i can literally cannot even just have one fucking root beer and i'm like i'm like this is like that was me at a party back in the day drinking 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 next thing you know i'm doing fucking lines off of strippers asses man what the hell what the fuck did he just say it's the alcoholic Addict mentality, man. One is too many, a thousand's not enough. Uh, and the thing is, since I see four here, I'm gonna have to drink all fucking four, which is gonna hurt my stomach. Son of a bitch, man. How many fucking sugars in this motherfucker? It'll be good when I get on my uh three root beers deep, man. If you guys can please go to that Twitch, I'm gonna grow that. And you're probably like, damn Hector, you're on Patreon, you're on Twitch, you have another channel that warner yes but listen it's all gonna go big so big so big man we're gonna take over the fucking world right that's the thing we're gonna take over the world i'm gonna give it right back to you guys because i don't even want it and then you guys can do with it what you want 
You guys will have all the platforms to speak on, voice your opinions, network, man, have at it, man. Fuck it. Warrior Nation, what's up? What's happening? Hey, in our world, in our world, if a crip comes up to you and says, what's happening, cuz, on dead homies, let's get it, they automatically have to get it, right? Get it, you're getting it. You can't back down. You can't claim excessive use of force, unnecessary use of force. You have to get it, man. That's what you said you wanted. That's what you get. You're going for the ride, homie. <laughs> In my world, people don't speak unless they're ready to handle it, right? <laughs> Heck, that shit reminds me of the 90s. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Motherfucker, you're gonna get popped in the fucking mouth for talking to somebody like that. The fuck? These keyboard warriors, too. That shit's new. People think, like, what are your goals with the YouTube channels? What are your goals with the YouTube channels? Well, um, depends. It's to, it's to grow a, uh, I was gonna say society, but I meant to say, um, a social network, a social network, right? A social network, meaning, and you guys can agree. I know you guys can agree because <laughs> all use of force within regulations, J cats. Yeah. Pre is these nuts. Um, next will be discord. I do have a discord because look, your boy Hector Bravo, two years ago, three, 2020, I was wearing a stupid fucking COVID mask. I didn't want to wear the mask. I couldn't breathe. I, it's bad enough I have asthma. I had Marcus Pollard, reigning hell, dictatorship style. And I was sitting there miserable watching the lames, the suck dicks, the puppet boys, the puppet girls, the Victor Cortezes, the Rutledges, all these lames, the Caterinos ratting their way to the top, lying, stealing, spiteful ass motherfuckers. And I'm like, this is the worst shit I've ever endured in my fucking life, man. No way. Norway, Norway, Norway. <laughs> we have an idea, Jeff. We're going to release all the <laughs> death row inmates from St. Quentin. No way. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways i'm like you know what man i gotta i gotta leave right and then i started this shit and somehow i attracted all you guys like a blue light and mosquitoes right and now we're all here and we all think alike let me tell you that we think alike because i met a lot of you guys in person when we talk we're hitting off conversations like we fucking known each other for years man Best channel on YouTube. My opinion, this channel is 100% real. Thank you. Thank you, 1967 Kid. And again, you've been riding long enough. You guys ever want me to talk on something in, part in particular? Let me know. Shoot it. Shoot it in a comment, in a DM, in a text, in an email. You guys know how to reach me. Um, What up, Jesus? I see you right there. Uh, Thank you. Hector, bravo, man of a... Oh, and Hess right there too, bro. Your fucking comments just motivate me. They motivate me. <laughs> they need to send the death row guys to Norway. I want to see that Netflix special. Maybe they'll send Lisa Lang. Lisa Ling. <laughs> you know you know that the COs from Norway are, are literally looking at us and saying, what the hell did you guys do? Nah, man, we're not even doing that over here. You guys stole an idea from us and fucked it all up and claiming it's you got it from us. We don't do that shit. That's the truth. <laughs> man. This is free therapy for me, bestie. Thank you. Why? Is it because I have issues and I share them with you and I let you guys know you're not alone? You remind me of the good man I used to work with. Thank you, Rocky. Um, and I say that because how small is our type of mentality? It's only 30,000. And 30,000 is a lot. But in the world, in the grand scheme, look at who we've combined. We got everybody that thinks alike. 
And we're not dumb motherfuckers. We're actually very educated. Very educated on versed on on vast topics. History, uh, economics, socialism, all kinds of stuff. I'm, I suck at math. I never claim to be a mathematician. But 50K by September. Yeah, I hear you, Josh. It's wild right now over here in the U.S. Even Marty Chapman is free walking the streets. Give us insight on where Suge Knight is housed. Okay, I'm not going to tell you when. I'm not going to tell you where, but the insight is it's a level three. Well, what used to be S and Y. I don't know what they call them now. Those type of yards. Level 3 SNY. Actually, the same yard that badass Snoop um, was alleged to have uh, stabbed that one dude to death. There's two EOP buildings, mean two, two uh, mentally unstable buildings. I laugh because... One time I was a lieutenant on a yard. This was years ago. And this crazy fucking inmate. He was crazy. He got his cane. <laughs> he got his cane. And on the day room, he went over to the A section television in the day room for the and broke the fucking TV with his cane. Then walked over to C section. The officers put him in handcuffs immediately. And the in- other inmates wanted to kill this dude. The other inmates wanted to beat the fuck out of this dude. Because he just broke both of their TVs on the day room. <laughs> that shit just reminded me of that story, man. Hector the Samurai. What up, Michelle? You ever witness two men carry each other on the yard? Yes. Oh, marry each other on the yard. Holy shit, bro. I thought you said you ever witnessed two men carry each other on the arm on the yard. What I was thinking was when the with when one homie puts another homie on his shoulders and does squats, right, with the body weight. Or he'll hold on to the bleachers and do calf raises while the homie's on his back. But what you said was, have I ever witnessed two inmates marry each other? I have not. I don't even think that's possible yet. Probably tomorrow or next week for sure. Whatever you can think up, that's a horrible idea. The department will run with it, man. <sighs> That's S and Y, isn't it? Not so. The weird thing about that yard, a yard. Oh fuck! I just said what yard it was. The weird thing about that yard is that when it was general population GP level three, there were two mental health buildings on that yard, and they did mix. So fucking weird, man. So weird. They were programming. I came from Sentinella, where that would not have been authorized. By their own people, let me tell you. EOP, you know me. You have seen too much. Yeah, that's why I have erectile dysfunction. Hector, what's your opinion on cigars? I went through a cigar phase. I bought a little humidor. I I went through a cigar phase. The big ones give me a fucking headache, though, man. Um, I haven't smoked a cigar in a minute. Probably since... 2011. Hector probably kicked Chew. That's why he doesn't smoke. I used to chew back in the day. Dip, the army. Um, keep you awake. I was at RJD. Root beer. CDCR sucks, retired, and happy to be away from that trash. It's a, it's a doozy, man. The root beer is hitting different. What I can't understand is how these new kids are joining a department blindly. Not even blind, because they're seeing their partners get beat the fuck up. They're seeing them get stabbed. 
and then they don't like put any forth any effort on changing their tactics. Why? That's how scared the department has them. Fuck that. Oh, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody going to jeopardize my safety. That was housing unit two, LT. Damn, Ebo P. Whisper. You're correct. That was housing unit two. That was housing unit two. You're right. He broke the fucking TVs. Motherfucker. Crazy ass in me. I got him off the yard. Uh, safety concerns. <laughs> EOP and triple CMS isn't supposed to be a Sentinella, right? Heat meds and medical reasons. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> he said, appreciate the honesty on erectile dysfunction. That's something no man wants to admit publicly. Holy fuck. I'm going to pin this to the top, right? I'm going to pin this to the top. Reason being is that when people come onto this channel that's never been here, and be like, what is this fool about? This fucking stupid hat on his head. What's that 30K back there? And they're going to read the top and they say, appreciate the honesty on dysfunctional, erectile dysfunction. Shout out from Anaheim. What up? I just discovered Wes Watson. What do you, do you think, man? If you're barely discovering, what was your opinion on the man? Were you at Sentinella when Johnny from Soft White Underbelly was there at the time? I don't I don't think so. Maybe. What up, Chrysler Technician? Back at it with the ED jokes. Blue Chew delivers. How long have I been on this motherfucker? 57 minutes. It's always like it, it without even looking. It's like I could time an hour. I don't try to go for an hour. Just kind of like when I feel the fucking batteries fucking draining. Like, oh, fuck, man. Just got on. What did I miss? God damn, Cole, you missed the whole fucking episode. <laughs> don't worry. You can go, you can go back to that. Man. Like? Shout out from Idaho. What up, Rock Chuck? I'm a chick. But my mom asked me about the van. What van? Pomona in the house. Damn, big badass Pomona. Fuck, I don't even go there. It's wild right there. What's up? Shout out to Pomona. <laughs> Damn, Hector, on the thumbnail, it looked like you dyed your hair blonde. I'll never do that shit, man. <laughs> Look at uh, the homie, the homie Jesus did all my favorite quotes. He said, uh, I lost a patch of hair, LT. My wife doesn't appreciate me, LT. You're super funny and always breaths of fresh, fresh air. Motherfucker got all my favorite quotes. Oh, I just had a reminder that I'm on a podcast on April 4th. Let me check my calendar. Holy fuck. Okay, podcast. I almost forgot that shit, man. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. You guys are watching me work right now. You guys are watching me work right now. This is what I do. Right, boom, two hours before, add. <laughs> Hector is Eminem now. Um. <clears throat> Shout out from Chino Hills. What up, Marine veteran George? Hey, again. If you're into uh, gaming... Twitch, or you have a Twitch account, there's my handle. Go follow. Be growing over there. The Martin 9400. Congrats on the 30K. Had no idea you were wearing a party hat. It looked like you were weren't wearing a hat. And the Fred had the frosted tips. I'm gonna have to look at that. Uh, that um.
Thumbnail. <clears throat> um with that being said, let me just do a uh update. The update is there's this channel, that prison guard, right? We have 30,000 subscribers. We have a default channel that we can always rally to in the event of uh, we need to. I'm now on Twitch. You guys already be knowing my Instagram, Hector underscore underscore Bravo. I got the move, the documentary coming out, Grunt, at the end of April, at the end of this year. <clears throat> Somebody asked me if I was working on a second book. Yes, yes. Oh, I don't even want to give a like a. I don't even want to give like a idea on what the book is. I know what it's about. I know kind of along the lines, and it's gonna. You see, when I do all these kind of projects or new things, it's like I have an I have a vision of what I want, and then while doing it, it kind of changes. <clears throat> Thank you, LJ, right there. I see you, my boy. Rags, Bravo starts at at the five. He's at the ten. Oh, nice blocks by the Warriors. He's at the twenty. Thirty K touchdown, Bravo. What up, Rags? Thank you. <laughs> now. Let me ask you this. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this? In your opinion. Let me know. You guys write this in the comment. What do you guys think about this? That I left the California Department of Correction as a lieutenant, right? And I literally, every day, every day, I have not missed a day, have gotten, come on to the YouTube and have shown and described with proof of documentation of things that are wrong with the California Department of Corrections, right? And Sacramento headquarters and administration pretended they didn't see it, purposely turned a blind eye. There's no way in hell you're going to tell me that they're going to try to use the excuse, oh, we didn't know that that dude existed. Oh, we didn't know that. When they already said... There's people in the public. We are saddened to hear that they are misinforming the public. Strike one. Strike two is they're going to try allegedly to scare staff into saying, don't talk to Hector Bravo, this and that. That's strike two. You clearly know about me if you're telling staff not to talk to me, fuckers. <clears throat> Lieutenant, shoot from the hip. Shout me out, my boy. Shout out to Fred, Vivian, Godina. What up, my boy? El Skid. <clears throat> you guys don't think it's a, uh, you guys don't find that part eerie <clears throat> that I, I came out and told the truth and headquarters didn't bother to reach out to me and say, Hey man, we are aware or we're now aware of these problems that you brought to light. Thank you very much. Gracias a ti. Why don't we fly you up first class to Sacramento? We got a shitload of money. Apparently <laughs> enough to go to Norway. Fucking goddamn. Um, nah, man, it just shows you what get down. <clears throat> I want you to think again. The only thing I compare it to is Nazi Germany, right? It's like you had a Nazi soldier, which was me, because I was part of the machine, leave the leave the force. And you think they're gonna be like, oh, that fool, the one got one got away. One got away. Fuck, he got away, man. He's on a YouTube channel, two YouTube channels, he's on the Twitch, he's on the Instagram, where do we get that fool? That fool have a OnlyFans too? <laughs> Headquarters is losing their ever-loving mind over you, bro. Absolutely losing their shit over your growth and popularity. You want to know something funny, Grizz? You want to know something funny? 
The only thing I'm, I've ever done is come on here, be myself, be myself, right? I'm not faking a funk. I'm not pretending to be a, a personality that I'm not and tell the truth. Those two things, right? And take care of you guys, right? I'll legitimately take care of you guys wholeheartedly, meaning I'll fucking help you out any which way you need, can, or, or, or want within reason, right? I'm fucking doing nothing crazy, but um, those three things are good examples of leadership. You get to know people, you get to know your troops, right? You guys aren't just random people on the, on the comment box. Just how many people have I talked to, man? How many people have I met? Right. I'm not saying that just to brag. I'm saying that CDCR is, is upset about my growth and popularity. Just be a good person. Just be a good fucking person. How hard is it? It is hard for some people to be a good person, man. It is hard for them to be a good person. Un- unbelievable, man. Have you ever watched A&E Rookie Year? I have not, Candy Chew. I, ha- I, don't, I don't even watch television anymore. <laughs> oh, man. $150,000 a year salary. You left all that money and tenure. You walk in the light and God's grace shines upon you. Thank you. It was never about the money. It was never about the money. Why? Because money blinds people. It can corrupt. Is money great? Yeah, money is great. But at what cost? At what cost? There's a lot of things I will not do for money. Period. Where can we buy your book? Um, <clears throat> I'll write a book for money. Why am I logged out of my Amazon account? I'm over Fed hacking into my shit again. Fuckers. Ah, damn. Fucking send it. Fuck you, man. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. That's where you can get my Amazon book at that link right there. God was helping steer you to something better. Facts. I see it now. Oh, man. Josh said, I can say the Hector you see on camera is exactly what I have spent hours on phone on the phone with. Facts, man. Yeah, we always just chop it up. That's cool. Hell yeah. For sure. Night, Lieutenant. Got to get my ass up in the morning. All right, you have a good night, Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> is that a helicopter? Facts, Kathy. Facts. What is the latest? What is the latest shirt from Matt? Brother Matt, it, luckily, this dude, he he has a very creative mind, very artistic mind. He's very skilled in what he does, and he'll like. He's very sharp, too. He's very sharp. He catches on to my little quick jokes. Hector's a solid dude, I can tell you from my experience. Thank you, bro, for being a good friend. Look, there he is right there, man, speaking to Matt. Thank you, man. Um, So Matt will come up with something. Because, and, and again, it's helping Matt. Like, I want to see Matt succeed. I want to see everybody succeed. That is the problem with administrators and managers from Cal- from from CDCR. They are threatened. Okay, the people you have in charge now, right? Not a stereotype, but they are threatened by other people's success. They are threatened by other people's growth. They are threatened by other people's popularity. Did I see that in green? Fuck, man. So many fucking coworkers that refuse to help these young kids because they didn't want them to grow up and be the Next up and coming good sergeant. They refuse to teach him. No, man. What kind of poor leadership? What kind of fucking disgusting ass, jealous ass, female ass trait? Like, 
You got to want to build leaders, man. Now, what the hell? Are you kidding me? I can't grasp that shit. I need you to grab some shirts. Facts, JK. Go over there. What up, JK? Right there, the homie George. I can also validate that saying, the guy off and on camera. Thanks, man. You guys are saying good things about me. I appreciate you. Thank you, Alex. What up, A. Perez? When are you going to start your campaign to be, uh, to become the governor, Bravo? I did get on Google last time you guys mentioned it. And it said, I said, what did it take to become the governor? Well, first of all, you have to put up like four grand or eight grand right off the top. You have to put up four grand. I'm like, that's a fucking lot of money, man. And then you can be a... a you can be a write-in, a write-in candidate, but I don't want the write-in, man. I'm fucking, I, I like to make you guys do less work, make it easier for you guys so you guys can just check a box. So that's a whole other little different process where you got to do actually have your name on the ballot. So if I can come up with four Gs, uh, yeah, I could fucking put my name on the ballot. What would happen if you designed a shirt specifically for current CEOs to wear and pick one day and they all wear it to work? Well, homie, hang out. You got to realize, man, a lot of bo- a lot of CEOs are not on board with me, right? Uh, you can go to work, right, and just mention my name. Hey, man, did you see the latest episode of Hector Bravo? You're going to see the disgust on their face. And you got to catch it quick, right? It looked like somebody, like, they just ate a big bowl of shit. Like, mm-hmm. That's that's how you identify a fucking lame, right? Why? Not because they don't like me. Because what reason do they have not to like me? Right? They don't fucking know me. <laughs> they don't fucking know me. And the only thing I've ever said is the fucking truth, right? So if you're a fucking bitch and you don't like the truth, then you're a bitch, right? So so it's better if the ones the CEOs that like me blend in with the CEOs that don't like me. That way administration doesn't know. You can't pick them off, right, and target them. I'm telling you, it's like Nazi Germany. Homie Hangout is ruthless over here on the green side, man. If they could get away with killing us, they would. I said that one time. They would, in a heartbeat. No, Yes. Thank you, Mike K. I had to see if I was wearing a, a Brother Matt shirt, and I was, the Godfather. It's literally all I wear these days, man. The biggest takeaway I see from all this is lack of communication. The upper management does not listen to CEOs. Rags, it's more than that. You're 100% correct. It's Imagine if a CEO tries to give a manager advice or a suggestion or recommendation that manager as shitty as of a human they are they'll look at that ceo like a peasant like disgust like who are you you peasant to talk to me this way motherfucker kiss the ring until they met a motherfucker like me this bitch has never met a motherfucker like me bitch i don't give a fuck about those captain bars i don't give a fuck about you bitch right you were never a ceo ma'am now you're the chief deputy warden of CIW. Ma'am, the fuck? Bitch, come back to the real world. In the real world, motherfuckers that put in work get recognized. Hey. Uh-huh. That's a big deal for black women. I told you, I can't force it. The bitch just comes out. Didn't mean to call her a bitch. Sorry, baby. <laughs> You ain't no cop. Never said I was. Never said I was. Bitch, go to hell, motherfucker. (sighs) You know how easy it is to walk through life and just fucking run over these lames? fuck out of here bitch get the fuck out of my way and that's the thing i'm not a bully i'm not a bully 
I you'll notice. Go watch all my videos. You'll notice I only go after motherfuckers that go heads up against me or that want to take a shot. All the time. Depends on how I'm fucking feeling, right? You catch a motherfucker on a bad day, it ain't probably ain't gonna end well for you. Um, I'm not a bully. I'm not a bully. Do I want people to kiss my ass? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But what I do not want to be is disrespected. Period. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna disrespect me. I don't give a fuck who you are, right? Let my little five-year-old daughter try to disrespect her dad. Like, legitimately disrespect her dad. Not, like, learning. <laughs> she might try something. I'm like, damn, baby, that shit was fucking disrespectful as fuck. <laughs> but come on, man. You just run over all these fucking lanes. What's up? What's happening? Hector, you're not, you're not, you're not invincible. You can get got. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. I don't give a fuck. I never said I couldn't, right? That's not the point. The point is you ain't going to fucking talk to me like that, bitch. Bye, girl. <laughs> fucking bitch. Damn, Hector, you might have been a crazy-ass sergeant, crazy-ass lieutenant. Ah, by lieutenant, I already pumped the brakes, man. By lieutenant, I pumped the brakes. Didn't want part, no more part. I was as afraid of the new CEOs. I just hid in my office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here trying to tell the CEOs to be hardcore and shit. I was uh, me as a lieutenant. I was hiding in my office like a bitch on Amazon drinking coffee. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know why they on me, man. I don't know JJ Winos why they on me, man. Hey, bro, you've been deleting hella messages tonight. People need to act right. Hey, have a good night, OP Wisp. That's the thing. All you gotta do is act. Come at me appropriately. Like, if you have a legitimate question, just come at me appropriate, right? Anything. Is these motherfuckers come at me sideways? Hell nah. <laughs> Fucker. That's the thing. This is going to bring it back, right? This is going to bring it back. I'm telling you we're in the middle of a shift. There's 126 warriors watching. If every, I'm not telling you guys to be bullies. I'm not telling you guys that. What I'm saying is the next time a motherfucker gets out of pocket, let, let them know that they got out of pocket, right? Hey, or if you see somebody getting out of pocket with somebody flexing, right? Like uh, trying to force her, trying to force their way. Nah, motherfucker, you ain't doing that shit, bitch ass motherfucker. What up, Benny Cruz? I just, I got your message, bro. I put it in the calendar, man. Shh. Not that it slipped my mind because you would have reminded me. Plus, either way, I'll make that shit possible, man. Thank you, Rodolfo. Um, all right. Hey, see a lot of people are getting off now, saying goodnight. It's getting my bedtime, too. Oh, sports card report. Here is a start to the 4,000 to get the Governor Bravo. Thank you for that. I would have to, uh, if I were to do that. Can you do that? Can you raise money for a campaign? Isn't that what they're going after Trump for? I don't want to do nothing shady. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works, man. I ain't trying to get got, but I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sports card report cards. I love critique, but the left field shit gets old. Not even creative anymore. Facts, homie. Hang out. You know what I'm talking about. You probably get the same shit, man. It, it, it's, yeah, you, a critique is great, right? Like, uh, oh, the retired CEO. What's up, LT? The way you handle that internal affairs interview, don't trust anyone that would work there. They step on your head, you get ahead. I hate those putos. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, the retired CEO, I didn't know how that IA podcast was going to go, right? From my perspective, I'm like, well, fuck, I don't have much experience with inter internal affairs, right? Which is a good thing. And I made it very clear. I wasn't trying to familiarize myself with the internal affairs process. That shit. I remember one time I went under investigation and they called me to the front and I literally got the shits, man. And I went into R&R. &R, this was at Donovan. I went into R&R. &R, and I dropped trousers and I took a dump. And my homie was like, what's up, bro? I'm like, oh, I got to take a shit, bro. I got to take a shit. My guts. What's happening? Hey, Brother Matt, we should probably make a shirt that says what's happening. 
Um, what's happening? West Coast moves different. But uh, yeah, man, going under investigation, you 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 get the bubble guts, man. Even that's the thing. How many people have? How many times have we heard like, "Damn, Hector, I didn't even do nothing wrong." Like Hector, I know I'm a hundred percent innocent in this, like for sure. In this one right here, I'm 100% innocent. And my my fucking guts are still in a knot, man. Yeah, because those motherfuckers be trying to twist your words around. What up, South Califas? Don't trip, big homie. Here's a wrench for you, my boy. Eso. I haven't said eso. Ever since the fucking Sureños went off on the inmates at Iron, or at the officers in Ironwood, I stopped saying eso, man. They fucking pissed me off. <laughs> You know, that was a joke, right? You yeah, some motherfucking little Sureño trying to get crazy with me on the Instagram, trying to threaten me. Relax, man. Relax before I call your boss. Relax. Ah! It ain't that serious, man. It ain't that serious. What's happening? <laughs> it's true. I got I ate and had the bubble guts. You guys want to hear something since you guys are uh, riding till the end, till the wheels fall off, 111 watching? I have had a senior special agent for the Office of Internal Affairs reach out to me who no longer works there and says, hey, what you're saying is true. We are being told. We are being ordered. We are being directed to run with this narrative, run with this agenda, uh, this agenda. And, and I had a bounce. I'm not built like that. So that's the truth right there. Do I have documentations to prove that? Yeah, but timing is everything. Timing is everything, right? Can't put all my cards out on the table. Thank you, JK. Your video motivates me for real. Routine. It's something my pops would tell me if he were still here. Thank you for that, JK. <laughs> it would be easy to write the name on this piece of paper because it's only two letters. Four hours with Internal Affairs and DOJ and a fuck-up CCPOA attorney. <laughs> That's the worst, bro. That's the worst, bro. I felt like that going to group ad seg yard for the first time at every prison. I couldn't imagine, man. They used to say back then, <clears throat> the COs would say, oh, ad seg yards were, were crazy back then. They used to say, if you have heart, you have yard, meaning crack this fucking cell, this whole upper tier right here is going out to yard, man. Whoever's up there. Let's do this. <clears throat> Lieutenant, you should have transferred to Chowchilla, then waited for your pension watching the cat fights. I, I can't. I can't. I can't work around females, bro. I can't work around juveniles or females, man. <clears throat> They're, uh, I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience, Okay. Very impulsive. <clears throat> what up, what up, SY? I'm losing my fucking voice over here. What up, Mike K? Congrats on the 30K. Am I losing my voice? I'm fucking four root beers in. What's up, Disco? Oh, I just heard my wife open the door over there. She's doing homework, so I got to catch her. I got to catch her when I can catch her. Um... Hey, love you guys. 30,000K celebration, live video. Um, You're just watching this. Go back and watch it. Keep pushing forward. Thank you guys, man. Honestly, thank you guys. This shit is fun. This shit is fucking fun. Let me know what you guys need from me, and I got you guys. Keep pushing forward. <clears throat> 